Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to create uh, services in Linux. And first of all, what is the purpose of service? Well, imagine that you build some app and you can execute it whenever you want. But you actually want that app to start the moment your system is on. And you want to run it until you turn off your computer. Well, with services something like that is possible. Now, first process that starts with uh, your system. It's init process and systemd application. Then systemd runs all of services. And the best documentation for systemd is of course man page. So I'm going to run man service. Well, if you watch other tutorials or if you read other blogs about systemd and services, you're going to see that all of us are talking about the exact same thing, but from different perspective. That is because systemd is huge. Although I'm using it a lot, there are commands that I never used in my life. On top of all of that, there are some commands that I'm using all the time, while other people don't. That's why some teacher is going to teach you in this way, another teacher is going to teach you in another way. So, what I'm hoping to accomplish with this tutorial? I want to give you a really good introduction. And after watching this, I want you to be able to turn your application into system service. But if you want to become true master of it, you will have to invest more time. For that purpose, one tutorial is not going to be enough. So I'm going to exit from man page. And as you can see, I've created one uh, directory for the purpose of this episode. And I'm going to uh, create three files in here. So with nano, I'm going to create test.py. And I'm going to import OS. This is going to be Python application. Then I want to import time and I want to import sys. Okay, I'm going to create counter, set it to zero. Then I'm going to create a while loop, while true. This is going to be infinite while loop. And now I want to execute OS system command format echo counter and I want to store value of counter into home kst test app so local directory and I'm going to name it example.txt all right then I am going to rise value of counter by one per every iteration and I want to use time slip for one second and I actually don't need this import first I intended to use arguments but then I changed my mind this is going to be enough for the example I'm going to save this, exit, and I'm going to create one uh, more Python file. Call it doit.py and in here import OS, import. Now we are not going to need time, but we are going to need this in here. All right, I'm going to set variable text to empty string and now if length of sys argv is greater than one means if we will have some program argument I'm going to set value of text to that argument And finally, I'm going to execute command, of course, formatted string, echo, text, into very same textual file, on kst, test, app, example.txt. 
empty. All right, I'm going to write this, I'm going to exit, and I'm going to check this text.py once again. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to uh, create that example.txt. All right, let's see what we have. Let's see permissions. All right, this looks cool. So now I'm going to call Python in order to execute some of these. So I'm going to uh, test dot py. All right. I'm going to break execution and now I'm going to test do it. I'm going to provide some text, something like this. It works. And now let's check what we have in example. Example.py. Not py, <laughs> txt. Okay, we have a zero, one, two, three, four, and this text. All right, I'm going to write this out, exit. It seems that everything works perfectly. All right, now, in order to turn these two Python applications into service, we are going to navigate into Etsy, systemd, system. Okay, let me show you what we have in here. All right, you can see that in uh, this directory, we have a bunch of different services. In order to create our own service, we are going to uh, call sudo nano, let's call it test, and we have to provide extension of service. All right, now, how to write service? First, we have to say unit and in regards of services everything is unit so we are going to provide first a description of our unit description i'm going to say just another service so be very careful this is all key sensitive so after uh, argument name you are going to uh, type uh, equal sign and value you are going to start immediately after that sign so there would be no space in between now i'm going to use argument after after network target all right, uh, in here, uh, this is not necessary, but I'm mostly dealing with uh, network applications, uh, so I always uh, need uh, my network to be up and running. But for your own purposes, you can choose another target and you could have multiple targets if you want. You, you just have to split them with uh, space. Okay, now we are going to uh, provide service data and I'm going to say that type is simple. You have uh, multiple types. For example, mostly you are going to use simple and exec. And they are mostly dealing with uh, when is considered uh, your service to be running. Now I want to use command restart and I'm going to say always. So immediately after my uh, application stops, I want my application to start again. And you could have many different values for this command. You could say, for example, on failure or uh, on uh, abnormal. That means if uh, your application stops for some uh, abnormal behavior or on abort. But in most cases, I'm using always. Now I'm going to provide user. User is going to be KST, my local user. All right, uh, this one, it's interesting. Restart, sec, not sec, sec, <laughs> sec, sorry. And five, what this means? Means that I'm going to have five seconds of pause between my application stops and starts again. In this way, you are easily going to create application that is going to run periodically. And what else you can do for this purpose? You could say something like, not sorry, runtime max sec, let's set it to 10. What this means, means that your application is going to uh, run for 10 seconds. With this kind of settings, we are going to have application that uh, runs for 10 seconds and then we have five seconds pause and then it's going to start again. And now, exec start. 
I'm going to say Python tree home KST test app and test.py. With exec start, you are going to uh, provide a command that is going to start your application. It's that simple. But now we have a few more interesting commands. We are going to say exec start. Yeah, we need T in here too. Pre and exec start post. With exec start pre, we are going to provide command that is going to be executed before exec start. And for that, I'm going to copy this command in here. But instead of running test, I'm going to run my do it application. So you don't have obligation to run single application uh, on uh, one service. You could actually run groups of applications. It doesn't matter. And in here I'm going to provide argument before start. In here I'm going to also use do it after start. We also have exec stop and we have exec stop post. All right, in both cases, do it. In here, argument is going to be on stop. do it after stop and that's all for the service okay we have one more group of commands uh, with uh, group install and in here I am going to say wanted by multi user target. All right. I'm going to write this out. I'm going to exit. And now I'm going to use command ls all. Let's see what we have. We have to change this. So with sudo change mode to 777 test service. I'm going to check this once again. Okay, we can run this now. Uh, this last command, it's not necessary. You are going to set uh, mode according to your needs. And finally, when my service is in uh, this directory and file is ready, I'm going to run sudo systemctl status test. You don't have to provide the test.service, but you can if you wish. You see, our service is disabled. I'm going to enable it. All right, and I'm going to start it. All right, let's check status. It's up and running. I'm going to check status again. And again, you see we are in green now, and now we are in gray. So our uh, service is at pause now. So it runs for uh, 10 seconds and then it stopped. Now, if I run status again, you see we are in green again. And now I'm going to stop this service. All right, check status again, it stopped. And I'm going to check content of my example file. That file is in home k kst test app example.txt. Let's see what we have. So we have uh, before start then zero. So first the value of our counter after start. Then uh, we have uh, values from uh, one to ten. 
because our service is active only for 10 seconds. Then we have on stop executed. Then we have after stop as executed. And now again, before start, zero after start and all over. So guys, that was a simple introduction into system D and services. I truly hope that I helped you to create your own uh, services and you, that you understand at least basically how this works. And as I said at the beginning of this episode, you will have to invest more time in order to become master of this subject. So guys, that's all. I hope that you learned something new and interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.